Alrighty. How you guys doing today? It's your man, the zombie man, coming at you with a landing zone video. Today we're gonna be looking at Skyhook and let's hop right into it. Let's talk about let's get our directions down. What what are our directions? We got our train track right here. This is our train house, right? Where the train house comes in. And then we have our jump tower. The jump tower by Skyhook. There's only one, so that's all you gotta worry about. Yeah, and then one other thing, why are there red? Why are there blue buildings? Red buildings have more than or equal to 20 piles of blue. So they're going to be stacked. The blue buildings have less than or equal to 20 piles of blue. It's a little inconsistent, but generally this is the pattern that I was able to find. And as you can see, this side right here, this is with, before we go into like individual LZs and everything, you want to prioritize this side. You want to prioritize pretty much the jump tower, train yard, right side. This side is going to have more loot. It's going to have more consistent loot than this side. So yeah. So let's just draw out some LZs. What are some fantastic LZs? We're going to start with my favorite LZ right here in the middle. Boom. Right there in the middle. It's not that this place has the most loot. Uh, there's only... There's going to be four to six piles of loot that spawn inside. And then these blue lines right there, those are loot bins. You get four of those. So I would say... You know, a team can share everything, but I wouldn't suggest it. I would say... Excuse me. I would have two people land here, and then I would send your Pathfinder to somewhere else. Just let Pathfinder do Pathfinder things. So yeah, that's one LZ. The yeah, high high tier loot does spawn in here though. It's pretty high tier loot will pretty much consistently spawn in there. But there's a problem landing here, and that is your dead middle. So if you're dealing with like a whole bunch of teams, you know, if you're dealing with a multiple squad situation to where it's like, you know, you're just like I'm not even gonna bother it to count how many squads are landing here. There's just a lot. This is kind of a bad place to land. Kind of a bad place, just because you're in the center of all that, and you don't, you will not have the time to group up and to establish, you know, establish a presence. Unless you do have the time. If you if you are able to establish yourself, it's a fantastic place to land because then you have options to go any direction you want. But yeah, a few other landing places. We'll start from this corner. We'll work our way around. We got this. Realistically, each one of these red buildings, a whole team could land on them. A whole team could land on it relative, relatively safely and get their essentials. So essentials, you know, if you want to play super safe, land on a red building. Don't expect to find good gear. Expect to find white armor and a primary. That's it. If you want to play super safe. But... You know, we like to stretch it a little bit. One LZ, another LZ. I'll be right here. You know, just split it up into two buildings. I would say the best way to do it is just to pick two buildings, and that's what you're going to land on. Send Pathfinder or Wraith by themselves, just because they're safe. They're very, very safe characters. You take these three. Landing here, I have pretty bad luck landing in these areas, just because I will not find essentials. So this, all of this right here, you know, be a little, if you're going to land here, be greedy. Claim an individual building for each one of your guys's. We'll start marking stuff just so we don't lose stuff. You know, claim an individual building. You know, don't be afraid to go off on your own. Just play passive. Don't try and go for the kill. Just get that good damage in, and then... Start moving towards your team because off LZ, everyone's going to be low on resources. You're not going to have a lot of uh, loot to go around. 
That's a great LZ. You know, taking taking this fantastic LZ. There's just a lot, you know, it's a city, urban environment, so it's, you know, it's a lot happening. If you have a multiple squad situation, it's going to be a lot happening. Taking these two buildings, very safe, easy, very easy to defend off LZ, you know, in a multi-squad multi situation. It's very easy to defend these locations just because they're kind of isolated and separated. So you will be able to land very safely if you're just going straight forward with your whole squad. Now, this one, you know, these can branch off just like that. And yeah. Pretty crazy. It's a lot happening now. So I mean, you know, let's go to this LZ right here. You know, two people land in here. One guy takes the roof. Another guy takes the bottom floor. Just mirroring each other. One dude, Pathfinder. Always send your Pathfinder a wraith by themselves. Take their take their own building. Or going over here. Let's take these guys. You know, maybe a couple people sharing this one. Vice versa. Three individuals landing there. All three people landing on one building, and then you can also rotate. If you're going to do this strategy, where you're all landing in one building, you know, take this side. Take this side because your team is going to be, your presence as a team is going to be emphasized just because of how tight you guys are. So if you run into contact with enemies, you're going to be able to down them pretty quickly. You should be able to down them pretty quickly just because you're running, you know, you're running as a tight team, you're running as a squad, and you're really just rolling through. I would suggest though, landing here. And then working this way, taking each and every individual building. Only hitting the red buildings though. You know, if you're going to three man land, don't bother even looting the blue buildings. It's just not worth the time. Go straight for the high tier. Go straight for that high density loot. Skip all the blue buildings. Those aren't important. Let's go over here. Maybe a little something more spread out. This is, I mean, when you each capture your own individual building, or when you all have, when you're able to at least get one person on their own individual building, and then two people on a high density building, you know, you're going to have very consistent LZs. You're going to find consistent loot, you're going to have consistent early games. So that's what you should be aiming at. Super safe LZ right here. These buildings are super close to each other. You can take two high density loot areas. One dude could land even here. Two people landing here, mirroring each other, and then mirroring each other vice versa through that building. While this dude takes, you know, he's looting these two buildings by himself. Yeah. Skyhook is a very, very awesome place to land though. If you're, if you're playing uh, just pubs and stuff and the dropship is coming in from Skyhook, you know, right over Skyhook. Everyone's going to be dropping here, and there's plenty of loot to go around, you know. For the most part, unless you get screwed over by the algorithm, you know, you're going to have a gun, you're going to have your necessities, and you're going to have, as long as you don't get, you know, crapped on off LZ, you should be able to transition into your early game pretty easily. But you know, again, when I first when I first started making these videos, be careful, LZ. Anyone can kill you. Anyone can kill you off your LZ. So if you're landing, just be aware. You know, draw a circle around yourself. Yo, these squads can kill me. Gotta respect it. Unless you're like Ace or Dizzy or something. No, then you just do whatever. Then you just kill everybody. <laughs> yep.
Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're almost done. We only have two more LZs to go through. And then we're going to hop into team communications. Yes, sir. If you have any questions, if you want to have like any individual like plays, like, you know, this is, yeah, if you have any individual questions, feel free to shoot them at me. We can go over it, we can go over it together, or I can draw it out multiple, multiple ways that your situation can or could have played out. And yeah, it's your man. Zombie man is out. Till next time. Deuce.